Hey everybody, 8 Josh here, and welcome back to Parkitect. Alright, so last time we did, uh, added this, uh, the little bumper cars here. And I started working on sort of the little wall here. And I think I want to try and fix those. Let's see. Support shapes. Honestly, don't remember where these little... Oh, there we go. It was probably... I think it was just this regular log pillar there. So I want to just basically keep... Let's see. I want them to be... I think I said I think I said I was gonna do this uh, in between episodes and I totally didn't I totally dropped the ball on that and I apologize for I apologize for being a ball dropper wait no that that <laughs> that doesn't sound right but yeah um, so if we go there orbiter is broken but luckily we have a mechanic who can fix such things. At least I think we have a mechanic. Pretty sure we do. Um, I wish I could like add these in a better way than doing it like this. Placing each. I mean, I don't have a problem placing each individual piece necessarily. It's just it's very, very, there's like a big gap right there and right there and right there. Oh man, I put too many gaps, too many gaps. I should probably, I probably should have deleted this stuff first, huh? Cause I wonder, can I just select Can I select in between? No. Oh, it's not going to let me select them because they're behind the, uh... Oh wait, I'm not on the... <laughs> I wasn't on the bulldoze option, apparently. Wait, am I now? Oh wait, I'm... Oh, God, I'm fucking dumb. I was on the brush. Uh, oh no, no, not that. No, just the, uh, wait, bulldoze individual selection. Well, no, I, there we go. Select, there we go. We're getting somewhere. No, unselect that. Okay. Whew. <laughs> not that we couldn't just build the go-kart building or not go-karts, but the, uh, bumper cars back. It's just that I don't want to. All right, so we got those. Go back to our log. We'll place this one that I deleted. Um, wait a minute. No. I want you like right. What? What is the problem here? Delete that. And delete that. Right there. All right, cool. <laughs> We're getting somewhere, yay. Um, let's see, use space change orientation, left shift to move your mouse up and down, left alt to snap object to the grid. So, well, that's not really where I want that either because I want it right there. What's the other one? Use, wait left alt and a number key to change grid size. So if I do, so I can make these like pretty small. How can I make it so that it, no? Huh, okay, I won't do that. I thought maybe if I could snap it to the grid, it would be a lot easier or a lot quicker to place these, but it doesn't really look to be the case so I'm just going to very haphazardly here place continue placing these down all the way 
There. All right. Uh, now let's see. Is there like a horizontal thing we could place? Because I kind of want to place them like over the tops. Hmm. No. No. Like, can I... It'd be awesome if I could rotate these on the horizontal as well. Supports. Well, it doesn't look like... Hmm. I feel like I'm missing things. Let's go to... Let's check out details. Because I feel like I'm just, like, missing stuff that I know I've seen before. Oh, maybe borders. Is there, like, a... Is there like a wooden piece? So if I want it, what does that look like? I mean, that makes it look a little better. It, it kind of just, you know, finishes off the edge, I guess. It's not, it's not great, but it's, it's, it's better. It's better, I guess, but, um, what I really wanted to do this episode is I've been talking about making sort of like a little pier kind of dock area. Um, so I thought it'd be cool to do that. Hence me talking about it. <laughs> um, pathways, wood. All right. Can I go? Is that, is that level? No. Wait, is it? No, it's above it. There we go. All right. Um, so let's see. Let's take a look at this. I'm thinking... See, this is one, two, three, four, five. So we do there, then one, two, three, four, five. And that leaves one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so I'm kind of thinking, actually, let's get a ride. I think I want to just do like a, I wanted to do like the Ferris wheel. I mean, I guess we could maybe do a couple rides, really, over here. Um, but I thought it would look cool to have the pier and then uh, we sort of have the, uh, we have like a ride that's kind of right in the middle. So we put that there. And then let's see. I guess the entrance can be there and the exit. Actually, let's put the exit. Can I exit? Can I put it right there? Nice. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So we'll put this, hopefully this, there we go. So take this all the way over. I wonder if this will be too big. So we can do that. And then, whoa, wait a minute, what the heck? Hold on. Why are those, why is that so tall? What the, what? There you go. <laughs> I don't know why that was so tall. I don't remember changing the uh, height on it, but maybe I did. I mean, obviously I did because the height was different. Oh, the height on this is way off too. Son of a, damn it. All right, so we're going to have to, can I just move it instead of bulldozing it? I don't know, I guess not. Is that level? It looks like it's level, doesn't it? I put it like right there. Nice, perfect. This is perfect. All right, actually, we'll wait to open that up till we make sure we get the uh, queue and everything built. 
Uh, we were using this green, right? So like we can just do this right there. It doesn't need to be terribly long. It's been broken for 10 minutes. Well, wait a minute. We have a mechanic. Where is he? Did he quit? <laughs> that would be... Suppose that would be highly possible. Where is... Uh, wandering around? Well, why is he wandering around and not fixing... Oh, he's repairing the trash can. How about repairing the damn ride? Oh, there's like benches and trash cans knocked over. Oh man, there's people aren't happy. What is going on? No, fix the damn ride. What the? Wait a minute. Does this need to be there? Like, do I need to just make it like that? Wait, no, not blue zone. There. Mr. Mechanic. Fix. Huh. I like the people have little umbrellas out. Wait, he just fixed that. It already got knocked over. Seriously, why? Why does he refuse to, uh... Oh, now he is fixing the orbiter. What the heck, dude? Why did that take him so long? He's like, man, I gotta, re gotta repair those uh, benches and trash cans. It's super important, it is. Super, super duper important. <laughs> um, all right, so I was thinking it would be pretty cool if we have a couple like stands kind of right in the middle here. Um, so let's check out some shops. Uh, we already have a burger place, right? That's that's what we have over here. Yeah. Um, not that we can't do another burger place, but... What about... Ooh, hot dogs. That's perfect. So maybe we'll have... Let's see. Wait, is that... I feel like that's not a... At the, at the correct level. Hot dogs. Think is that? I think that's the right level. So if we put that there, nice. All right, and then we let's get like a drink place over here. Uh, fruit juices. We already have fruit juices. Or no, we have wait. Oh yeah, we have fruit juices there and soft drinks there. I feel like that's a lot, but I guess you can never have too many. Let's do snow cones. That's like a good, hey, we're on a pier, let's have a snow cone kind of thing. Wait, which way is... God, it's hard. It's so hard to tell. Okay, that's too low. <laughs> that's too low. It's hard to tell, like, um, when things are at the same level. So that's got to be the correct level there. So if we put this, like, right there. There. All right. So then we can get, like, uh, some building pieces. So if we do go back to walls... And look for where are those wooden pieces. So that's like wait, where is there? So I'm thinking we'll make like a couple little, uh, a couple little stands over here. So it's like. It's like, you know, you're hanging out on the pier, you got, you got some like, uh, restaurant pieces, or, uh, restaurant places, and you're hanging out on the pier, where? There, 
All right. And then I just want to connect up. So like if we have all of this, So it's just like one big kind of, one big pier. I don't know, is that too big? I feel like that's, I feel like that's pretty big. I mean, it looks cool. I like the, I like the idea. What if, uh, let's see. If we take away like one side of it. See this area is, and it's looking more empty than I was kind of thinking. I mean, not that we can't put uh, things on the pier itself. I mean, we could do something like that. I don't know. I'm also like the OCD in me is like, I want it to be, I want it to be normal. Like everything is the same, everything the same shape. So I'm just going to delete all these walls for now. Delete. And delete again, all of these. So maybe we just do a couple of, we'll just make the building smaller uh, and they'll kind of face inward. That might look good. So like, let's see, like right there and there. Oops. There we are. And then we'll put the, uh, what's this, snow cones? Right. Nice. And then we can place the, the same building. We'll just do that, the wood again. Oh wait, what are these? Is this what I placed? Place it at the same level. So that's kind of wood looking, but then there's also these pieces. Why do you not stay at the same, remember the height that I'm at? I think I like that better. It's a little bit more fitting, I think. Ooh, there's diagonal walls. That's something I miss from <laughs> other certain theme park uh, simulation games. Oh, I need, hmm. Okay, so here's the other thing I, I need to, always keep in mind when I'm building these shops is they need to have access for staff. Um, because the staff, all the vandals have left the park. Oh, there were vandals in the park. I didn't even know that. <laughs> um, but see, the thing is we have like these staff pathways, right? And guests don't like when they see the staff delivering the goods to the shops. It, brings your park rating down. Uh, so you, you wanna hide that as best as possible. But if we have shops on a pier like this, it'd be really hard, it'd be really hard to get them to be hidden. So let's see, what if, what if, so we go our staff pathways here, okay. I have, I have an idea. I have to delete these again. I wish I could just move them um, instead of just demolishing them all together. But it's what we have to do. All right, so we take our staff pathway. Okay, so say we have the two shops right here. They'll be next to each other facing out. Then we'll have staff path there. Goes down, right? So it's under the water. Oh, it's not under all the way. Crap. Okay, hold on. Uh, delete, 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 delete. There we go. All right. 
So this will be the staff, the staff pathway, right? And we'll have it come up like right about up here. We could even actually keep it underground over here. So say right, we have right there. Oh, that's not low enough. Do, 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 do. <laughs> that's the, uh, Oh no, that's the same height. I thought I... Weird. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Nope. I want you to be... It'd be nice if I could easily figure out... There we go. Oh no, that's, that's low too. There we go. So it's at 1.5. I guess I should... Pay attention to that. Um, I'm gonna delete these. Delete, 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 delete. There you go. All right, so 1.5. Wait, no, no. Oh, we've noticed performance issues. Okay, need neato. I haven't experienced any. There. All right. Check it out. Okay, so we have a sweet underground, underwater staff pathway that will take us to the shops. So, build that guy there. Build snow cones? Or no, damn it, they were supposed to be here. <laughs> Demolish this one again. Maybe one one of these tries, I'll, I'll get it right. There. There. Okay. And then what we'll do is, so we'll just put these back there. I like that. Go back to our walls. Right. Oh, wait, no, I said I like the lighter brown ones, right? Right, so we'll go over here. Gonna place these there. And then we're going to enclose all of this. And the guests will never see those paths pathways. At least right there, they'll never see them. Boom. Like that. Although this is kind of weird, because you have like the theming of the stall like sticking out, but Alright, so are these open? They're open but out of stock. So let's open this guy and go over to our pathways. We're just going to delete that one. So guests don't, guests don't walk where we don't want them to go. And then we take Mr. Depot here and we're going to add both those shops. And then what will happen is our, how many haulers do we have? We only have, oh wait, that's a janitor. All right, so, okay, he's already delivering condiments to hot dogs. I don't know if we need to give him a zone. I mean, he's, oh, why is he going all the way? Why is he going that direction? I want you to go, I want you to go, no, wait, where'd he go? Wait, where'd he go? Where's our hauler? Take me to him. There he is. All right, let's, I'm gonna put him over here. Oh, now he's just wandering around. Okay, delivering meat to hot dogs. I want him to go down in the path. No, don't, no. Why would you not go this way? Can I make them not come out this direction? Huh. Is it because, is it like technically shorter for him to go around this way? I mean, I don't, I don't care if it's shorter. I want him to go in the sweet ass underwater tunnel that we made for him. Well, okay. I, I'll have to figure that out. I wonder if it's because this is a shorter route, which I think is dumb. I wonder if there's a way I can force them to 
only go that route. I know you can create zones, but I don't know. All right, well, if you guys uh, know the answer to that, be sure to leave some comments. Let me know um, if I if there's a way I can force them to take this tunnel as opposed to going around, um, because that's the whole reason we built the tunnel. Um, but I'm gonna leave this part here, so be sure to leave your comments, suggestions, feedback down below. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button that way, and then hit the little bell icon that way, you'll get notifications when I post new episodes. Um, but yeah, so uh, I am 8 Josh, and thanks for watching, see ya.